Welcome to the Modular Clubhouse. I'm Jesper, and this is Platz by Mutable Instruments. Even though we might think that Platz doesn't need any additional introduction, I do have to, of course, well, explain it a bit for people who've just joined Modular, just like myself. I just got this module uh, late last week, so I've had the weekend to play with it a bit, uh, but I want to, well, have you witnessed me actually well diving into the whole module, figuring out what the speed sports are? Um, so that's why I made this video because we wanted to see and hear everything, every minuscule possibility within this module. I wanted you to bear witness to that, and I have to say I've bought this module myself. So this is by no way uh, sponsored or condoned by Mutable Instruments, whom I respect uh, enormously. Um, other than that, I would say, well, uh, let's just dive right in, shall we? Here we go. So here we have Platz, and yes, I'm going to be calling it Platz. I don't mind anyone who wants to name it anything else. I'm not the Platz police, but um, don't, well, just don't hang me for using the wrong name for this, right? Um, so what we will be doing is I'm going to run you through the actual interface first and then we're going to go on a sound exploration journey. Um, I've got this module last Friday, so I have played around with it, but I've kept off the, well, the actual exploration of this module for this video, so you can join me for that. So uh, without further ado, uh, let's dive right in. And the first thing you're gonna be noticing is these two buttons, of course. So these can be used to traverse the sound modes that it has. So the green ones on the left-hand side are the more tonal ones, and the ones on the right-hand side, the red ones, are the more percussive ones. Then you've got your frequency pod. Um, you've got three settings here. Uh, to actually shape the sounds that you're using. So you've got your timbre, which will go from very dark to very bright. And you've got your harmonics, which is typically used to influence the actual sounds and waves uh, that you uh, get from this module. And the same thing is true for morphing. So you can say harmonics is more of the lateral changing through it, and the morphing will actually, well, morph the, the sounds that you can get out of it. Then you've got your three attenuators. Um, those also have influence while there's nothing patched in the, in, the, in the patch points. So these will then influence the amount of the internal envelope that will be reflected upon timbre, frequency modulation, and morphing. So keep that in mind. Uh, then you've got your inputs for uh, model selection, for your harmonics and the three that are connected to the attenuators, of course. You've got your trigger inputs, which will, of course, trigger the internal envelope. You've got your level in, you've got your volt per octave in, you've got your two outs, your out and your aux. Funny thing to mention, you can, of course, loop anything like an external envelope, like one from mats into plats via the level input. So that's quite fun, mats into plats. And well, that's about it. So what we're going to be doing is I'm going to connect two of my cables into out and aux. And I'm going to be mixing between them throughout this video. So you'll be hearing both of the, the, the actual sound outputs. And other than that, I think I have explained. Oh, no, let me just explain a bit about the internal envelope. So if you hold down the first button and you turn the morphine, you can set the length of the decay of the internal envelope. So I tend to keep it at the middle, something like that. And you can also set whether you want to have the, the LPG emulation in there or if you want to have a full, full VCA, just a, a normal one. So this is with the actual uh, LPG and this is without and there you go. So we have, or was it the other way around? Let me just double check. So what I have is I've got the manual here with me because I want to be absolutely certain I don't mispronounce anything. 
<laughs> and I don't miss name or mix uh, modes up and there are a lot of them so you might hear me scrolling through the, uh, the through the manual at times so no it goes from the VCFA to the VCA yeah so this is with the low pass gate and this is without the low pass gate that makes a lot of sense so then I would also want to explain that the frequency one that is currently set so that it goes all the way from C0 to, to 7 and uh, yeah and you can also set it to other settings there as well if you hold this button and you can just turn this and then you've got your settings here that you can go through now let's uh, dive right in shall we so I'm gonna be using Hermit as my source of melody and also for triggering plants so I would say this is the first one the pair of classic waveforms let's uh, start that journey shall we Keep in mind, now you're only hearing the regular outputs. So harmonics in this case is the detuning between the two waveforms. This is your pulse width modulation. to the aux. So this is described as two heart synced waveforms. of the uh, the first one let's go to the second one that is the wave shaping oscillator in the meantime let me just grab another melody real quickly and we're on channel number one
richness of sound. I love it. So if we're then going to listen to the aux, it should be a variant of the first one. Ooh. Also very nice. Off to the third one, the two operator FM. Let's listen to the normal output first. The frequency ratio. trippy bass lines I'm imagining that's going to be fantastic great well, let's go to the fourth one and this is where things start getting really interesting so this is a granular formant oscillator so let's listen to the normal output two formants here and you can go with the harmonics you can mix between formant one and formant two Frequency of the formant. And then we have the shape and the width of the formant. Beautiful sounds, if you ask me. grab an LFO to do the timbre with. Listen to the orcs 
which would be a simulation of filtered waveforms by windowed sine waves. Wow. back to the out and let's switch to the next one which is our harmonic oscillator hmm. start at zero then so the harmonics is the number of bumps in the spectrum your harmonic selector essentially fascinating Hammond Orgel. Oh, perfect. To our next one, our wave table. So here we can actually select the banks that we want to use. going to go through each and every one of them. I'm going to do that with timbre and morphing together because this is the row index and this is the column index. Thank you. 
nice one. something I really like. listen to the orcs, this should be a lower fidelity output. Personally I can't really hear the difference but that might just be me. So let's uh, go to the next one which is chords, always nice. type that you want. Perfect. 
so let's turn this all down and let's go to the last of the tonal ones and a bit of a favorite of mine so this is this is the vowel and speech synthesis and this is a lot of this has such enormous well gag root utilization so first before i start to dive into the harmonics so the timbre goes all the way so here we have just some 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 guttural sounds to the aux that's always fun right so let's uh, dive into the more percussive kind of sounds so first off, let's go into the 
granular clouds. That's a bit foreboding. Turn the speed up to 120. Get the randomization all the way up or all the way down. The density of the grains. Ooh, this is actually still quite melodic if you hear this. It's almost got a reverb to it. It's just great. I love it. So let's listen to the orcs. So the difference is that this is now a sine wave based one and the normal one is sawtooth. like that then filtered noise that's going to be an interesting one so we go from a low pass filter to band pass to high pass Listen to the orcs. Ooh. Real nice. to the next one which is the particle noise Ooh. It almost sounds like one of those gigantic Japanese taiko drums. And on the orcs, we actually get the raw dust noise and this almost sounds like alpha particles hitting a radiation detector I like it I really like it so let's uh, go back then we get the inharmonic string modeling. Unfortunately, there isn't much documentation on it, but let's uh, give it a go, right? So this sounds to be resonance. 
brightness. Excitation. Let's grab another melody. I truly love these kind of sounds. It's almost harp-like, but you can al almost entirely go into guitar range as well. To electric guitar. <laughs> I really, really love this. Your 80s power ballad, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Great. See what we have on the orcs. It's just a raw, the raw trigger, I'm assuming. Let's go to the next one, shall we? So this is the modal resonator bank. Ding dong. And the, the first thing I did was record something that sounded like Futurama because they use these sort of sounds extensively in their intro tune. <laughs> and what's under aux then? I'm, I'm just curious. Oh, same, it's just the, the actual trigger. The exciter signal, great. This is almost like a slap bass guitar. To the next one. Oh, wrong button. The analog bass drum model. Wow. Let's 
listen to the aux. Another variant. Let's go back to the penultimate one, the analog snare drum. Okay. listen to the orcs. Ooh, that's classic. Great, let's go back to the normal one. And let's go to the last one, the analog hi-hat. Let's go to the orcs. Perfect. So what I want to do is I just want to quickly create something that resembles a jam so I'm going to grab some additional modules here with me and I'm just going to make something on the fly so I'll put my trigger in for my metatron disconnect that go to the normal one to a couple of random sequences.
So this is what you can do with just a handful of modules and a very versatile module like plants. As mentioned, I just bought this module last week. So this video was by no way, shape or form sponsored or condoned by Mutable Instruments. But I do want to honor Amelie and Mutable Instruments by making this video because they make well, perfect modules. Let's just keep it at that, right? So with this, I would say, let's go back to the studio and wrap this video up. This is already the longest video I've ever worked on, so uh, hopefully I can keep it short. Thanks so much. See you in a bit. So I hope you enjoyed this video on plats by Musical Instruments. Um, I truly loved it. Uh, I love making this and I found lots of sweet spots that um, this video will now be my <laughs> my list of all sweet spots so I'm going to re-watch this video myself uh, quite often as well to re-figure out where I was and where I found those uh, those interesting sounds those fascinating points within wavetables the interesting points within the well all of the modes that this has I truly love this module and there's a lot more coming from uh, mutable instruments that I'm, I'm really interested in. So I hope you guys will join me for those as well. Um, other than that, I would say, well, thanks again so much for joining. I hope everyone is able to like and subscribe. Uh, we've crossed the 500 subscriptions and uh, on our way to a thousand, of course, right now. So uh, keep up the great work. Thanks everyone for supporting me and the channel. And for now, I would say, please everyone stay safe, stay healthy, and I hope to see you for my next video. Cheers.